today I had the great fortunate to be talking to Mara Keesling, who is the founding executive director for the National Center for Transgender Quality, NCTE. So welcome, Mara. Thank you, Liz. I'm very excited to be here. You talk about trans. I'm not sure our audience will understand that word. Can you explain that to us? Absolutely. So first of all, um, we often use trans or transgender. So we use those two words interchangeably. So we don't mean different things by them necessarily. But a transgender person is just somebody whose gender identity, that is their internal sense of their gender, or their gender expression, how they express it, like what they wear, their mannerisms. They're not in keeping with what society would traditionally have expected because of how you were assigned at birth. When the doctor you know, slaps you on the butt and says, it's a boy, being transgender is you saying, well, not so fast. This picture is often explained in connection to civil rights. Do you think it fits? And what are some of the shared issues between the transgender community and the disability community? Sure. I, I think the picture is a really good reminder of how the world really works. We often say an injustice to anybody is an injustice to everybody. If anybody is being mistreated, if anybody is being denied access, if anybody is being marginalized, that's a bad thing for society as a whole, and it means any of us can be. So I'm a big believer in that. I think, and I say a lot, as a, the trans movement and as the LGBT movement, that we can't have a moral movement or even an effective movement if we're not also an anti-racist movement, a pro-immigrant movement, a pro-disability rights movement, a pro-women movement. Um, where there is marginalization, we all have to work to end it. So if we want to work for all trans people, we have to be pro-disability rights. There's so much overlap. The trans movement is, is all about self-determination and body autonomy. These are real core values of, of disability rights work as well. We have so many issues that overlap, like access to health care, access to competent providers. If I look at something like school policy, trans kids in school um, have a lot of the same um, challenges and restrictions put on them, whether or not they have a particular disability, and many of them do. Most ordinary people don't really look at who they are and know in their heart who they are and then go about doing that knowing that they could lose everything. They could lose their family, they could lose their job, they could lose their life. That is an extraordinary person. And I have met so many trans people. I've probably met over 10,000 transgender people. And I am consistently just stunned at the bravery. And folks who just every day stand up for themselves in a society that wasn't meant for them. And you know, people with disabilities are often like this too. And we should be talking about not how ordinary folks who do that are, but how absolutely extraordinary it is. Because it's all about how people feel. Yeah. And that's what, yeah. what in some ways they shared values are between disability and transgender. I want to feel the way I want to feel. You want to feel the way you feel. 